Say hello to the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Now, I'm late to the game getting this out, but this phone, one of the most impressive phones of 2024. I know the X8, well, the X8 Ultra is not out yet, so I guess this one's still valid. The X8 Pro just came out, so I thought, you know what, let me take a trip back down memory lane, and I forgot I'd actually taken a bunch of photos with this. When I first got it, I went to the zoo. The zoom on this is insane, so let's talk about some of the specs for a second. Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, Starts off 12 gigs of RAM. There's a 16 gig option. It has 5,000 milliamp battery. And it has four cameras on the back. Four 50 megapixel cameras on the back. The primary, the ultra wide, and two periscopic telephotos. So that way you can reach out and touch stuff or you can do the intermediary reach out and touch stuff. The zoom on this thing is insane. And when I get to the camera, I'm going to show you a few photos because I was able to find this tiger. And I had at first taken a picture of it, but it was kind of far away. And I'm like, all right, let me zoom. Let me zoom in some more. And I think the zoom on this is better than the S24 Ultra. So it makes me really excited about the prospect of the Oppo Find X8 Pro. And when we get the X8 Ultra, that's going to take things to the next level because presumably it will have the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor in it. But this one right here, just over a 6.8 inch screen, high refresh rate screen, 120 hertz, super bright. And this is basically, if you're not familiar with Oppo, they make the OnePlus phones. So the OnePlus phones are always a little bit different once they come here to the States, but it's the same thing, and <laughs> it's it's just interesting how it works out. They used to be separate companies, but now OnePlus falls underneath Oppo. So Oppo makes some great stuff, and what's really nice, too, is it's got this leather back built into the phone. You just don't see stuff like this anymore. The phone feels super premium, and instead of trying to minimize the camera design, they went all in with this camera design. Look how this camera bump sticks out. But in stark contrast to the OnePlus, a lot of people don't like the circular kind of watch face look of the cameras on the back. I think this one stands out. I think that it's super premium. And it's something where it's like, all right, this phone is impressive. And of course, it's nice as a built-in screen protector right on the front screen. And it comes with a case in the box too, which is nice. So you get, I just dropped it. So you get this nice silicone case that goes on the back of it, fits nicely, fits snug and everything. And there we go. So that's pretty good stuff. Anyway, so this phone's not available in the U.S., of course. Uh, Oppo sent this to me a while back, and I, I got busy. <laughs> it, I got it much later than a lot of the other when it, the phone got sent out, so I was in the middle of working on the Pixel and the Samsung stuff, and then it just kind of slipped under my radar. But, yeah, I had used it. I used it for like a week or two, and I went out and I tested it out, and I was using it. The haptics are good. The screen is nice. I mean, it's got everything that you could ask for in a phone, and whenever it says Ultra, they mean Ultra. This isn't something like, okay, the S24 Ultra, yes, it is Ultra, S Pen, it has DeX, 200 megapixel camera, but this phone is proof that you don't need a 200 megapixel camera. You don't even need 108. This one has the 450s on the back, and then on the front, you get up to 4K video, which is nice, 32 megapixel selfie camera. So they went all out in the camera department, especially on the back end. So let's get in the camera. I want to show you some of these samples. That's the biggest thing about this phone. Of course, it's got the flagship specs. It's got all that great stuff. But what people really care about these phones for is the camera. So let's dive in and take a look at it. So you've got the 450 megapixels, like I said, 50 megapixel, the periscope, uh, two, ter two periscope telephotos, one's at 2.8 times zoom, and then one's at six times so you can reach out and touch stuff. And then the 50 megapixel ultra wide. I'm sorry, it's 4K video, not 8K, my bad. But it does do 10-bit video and Dolby Vision. And then you get 4K 60 on the front. But this thing has some serious stuff going on for it. And of course, it looks brilliant on the screen. It's got the 6.82 inch display, 1440p, 120 hertz, 4500 nits peak brightness. So all, the, all your photos look great on the screen. And then when you take them, when you look at them, and then the camera itself, like I said, I took those pictures with the tiger and you see the tiger and then you zoom in and then you zoom in even further and you see the dude's face like, wow, this is the most impressive zoom that I have ever used on a phone before. And of course, premium build quality, Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Like I said, it's got that 5,000 milliamp battery with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 processor, which is going to carry you through the day. I know it works with LTE with T-Mobile. Not sure about AT&T. The problem with AT&T is it's hard to get stuff whitelisted. You'll put a SIM card in and it's like, oh, this phone is not supported. I run into that sometimes. But for sure with T-Mobile, I know it works with that, even though it may be limited. And you've also got the alert slider over on the left-hand side too, which is something that we all love with OnePlus when it comes to Oppo. 
that's basically kind of the same phone. So you get that, you can put it on ring mode, silent or vibration. You've got those profiles on there, so that's nice. And then, yeah, overall, it's just an incredible phone. I, I just wanted to touch base and, and talk about it as we get into this new year. Like, we're right on the cusp of 2025. The S25 is coming out. We will have the Oppo Find X8 Ultra at some point in time. And I'd had a lot of people that had asked me about this phone, asked me about my opinion. And I'm like, you know what? I forgot I've got this <laughs> sitting around. Let me go and make my video. So sorry to Oppo for waiting so long to put the video out. But uh, yeah, it's one of the more impressive phones of this year. The build quality, the cameras, the performance, and just the whole package together is something that's been really impressive. And you really get kind of those vibes and those feelings like it's a OnePlus phone. But at the same time, it feels very distinct. It's got Color OS. Color OS is their version of Oxygen OS. So then we get Oxygen OS on the OnePlus. And that's what we get here in the States. So it's, it's very similar. A lot of it's very mirrored. But you can feel, you can see like the fingerprints from the artist on the, on the canvas with both phones. But for whatever reason, the Oppo, they take it to the next level. With the Oppo phone, they take it over the top with the camera stuff. And it really is known. Basically, you look at the Google phones in the U.S. And they're known for their cameras. And when you go outside the U.S., the guys at Oppo with the Ultra Series phones, even the Pro Series phones, they're really known for their camera. So I keep talking about this, and I talked to somebody the other day, actually yesterday, having this conversation, because we've got the OnePlus 13 coming out soon. I'm curious to see what we get with those cameras. But what I would really like to see is Oppo to put the same investment with the same cameras. I mean, you still got the, you see the big H on the back. It's got the Hasselblad cooperation. I would love to see, get the same cameras here in the U.S., and one of the biggest things, there's really only two, like two or three things that keep people from associating the OnePlus phone with being on the same level as Samsung. One, the level of support, because we get four years of operating system updates, five years security patches, but it's only bi-monthly, right? So people want monthly security patches. They want that longer support. Uh, AI, there's more AI. Well, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Samsung, there's more AI stuff. So there's that. But then the cameras, the camera, camera, camera. And a lot of people always have different things to say about the OnePlus cameras. I enjoy them, the Hasselblad cooperation for the color, the skin tones and stuff. They've made a lot of strides in the last few years, especially with the new image signal processors and the chips and everything like that. They've made a lot of big strides. But I almost guarantee if they brought the OnePlus 13 over with the same cameras as, let's say, the X8 Pro, people would be having a different conversation about the OnePlus phone in conjunction or comparison to Samsung. So that's pretty much all I got on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Hopefully I can get my hands on the X8 Ultra when it comes out. I would love to test it out. Uh, honestly, I'm trying to get my hands on the X8 Pro. It looks phenomenal and Oppo makes some really, really good hardware. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions, comments, gripes, concerns, complaints, all that stuff, please go to the comment section. I'll do my best to get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.